Hello, I'm Cody Salier. I'm an engineer with Go Engineer, and like many of you, I have a standalone license for SolidWorks. That's the serial number that starts with 9000. What this gives me the freedom to do is install SolidWorks on any machine I need, and then only activate and deactivate them as I need them. I'm going to walk you through how to activate and deactivate your licenses real quick. To transfer your license is incredibly simple. All you have to do is go to Help and Deactivate Your Licenses. This could be different. It could say Transfer Licenses. That's really dependent on the year of SOLIDWORKS you're using, but the functionality is the same. Once you select Deactivate Licenses, you're going to select what you'd like to deactivate, in this case just SOLIDWORKS. You're going to do it automatically over the internet, and you're going to put in your email. From there, you're going to hit Next. You're going to say, yes, I don't want to deactivate any add-ins. And the software will deactivate itself. Once this is done, you'll hit Finish, and the software will close. Now here we are on my laptop. Activating SOLIDWORKS is just as easy as deactivating. All you have to do is launch the program, and you'll be prompted to reactivate this machine. If you receive an error saying activation count exceeded, that means your license is still active on another machine. You'll have to go deactivate it before activating on this machine. If you have any questions about this process or have any problems deactivating your license, don't hesitate to reach out to your reseller. We'd be happy to help you with anything you need. Mm -hmm.